Today we're making some huge changes to the 65 gallon mini predator tank. This tank has tons of algae, plants everywhere, fish can't really be seen or swim comfortably. So we need to fix this tank up now. As you guys can see, our mini predator tank with barbs, an African leaf fish right here, and some angel fish is looking quite awful. There's algae all over the front glass that needs to be scraped off. These plants that I had put in here are dying. This one I think is just dead at this point. And then these plants are looking real messed up, making it hard for the fish to get to food, making it the tank just look not good at all. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna start siphoning out the tank, drain the water, get a lot of those plants out, remove some of those snail shells, and start planting those plants so they start looking real good. In this tank, we have zebra blue angelfish. These guys are Catherine and George from another video if you guys wanna watch that. We also have some rosy barbs in here, long fin variety. We also have some platinum green tiger barbs in here. And one of the coolest fish we have in here, like I mentioned, was the African leaf fish. I grew this guy up since he was about this big and it's just been a crazy journey and I really wanna add some more predators to this tank and maybe make some changes in the future to the stocking of this tank as well. We also have some quarries in the back that are just chilling. These guys have bred in the tank a couple of times, which is also quite exciting. We also have some loaches that do a lot of hiding. If you guys can see that, he shoved himself in between the filter back there. I got the siphon out, and now we're gonna start sucking up all these snails and cleaning the gravel, as well as draining the water. The water goes all the way out into the garden and the pond over here. Guys, I just found out that this tank was unplugged, that the filter was not on. You can see the water is flowing there now, but I was wondering why there was no water flow before, and it was actually unplugged and I don't know for how long. There could be a couple of different issues when you leave a filter like that unplugged. One, bacteria build up, bacteria die off in the filter that you need for the filter. I, the last time I serviced the tanks, I remember the filter being on. This is a concern. The filter was off, guys. Like, I don't understand why it was off and Thankfully, none of the fish are like looking bad or like the tank looks okay. I mean, other than the algae and stuff, like the fish are fine. There's enough beneficial bacteria in the tank to make sure that they're okay and process all the waste. But I don't know how long. I think the plug had just slipped out of the socket that I had it plugged into. But that's kind of concerning if that happens again and I don't notice it. So it's gonna be a good thing if I do the filter now and start doing the water changes to hopefully get the bacteria back on start. And I might add some lime or something into the water to make sure it's doing well. It's a little loud, but you won't believe what I found in the aquarium too. It was something I did not expect. It probably came in when I was buying new fish. All right, we're above the tank right now. And the thing I found is in this corner right here. It's a rubber band. How long is this rubber band been in the tank. I got the rubber band out. It even has algae on it. This rubber band has been in here for a while. Good thing it's not really harmful to the fish. And now I can remove it. What an odd thing to find in an aquarium. So I drained a, quite a bit of water. The siphon's not working anymore, but I think this is plenty of water. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start taking a net to get all these little shells out. The shells are empty because the loaches in here have been eating the snails like crazy, which is both good for the fish, not so good for the snails though. So let's get started so we can really clean up the sand. All right, look at all these snail shells. Look at all that. I don't mind losing some sand, but the shells make the sand look really bad, so I'm trying to remove them all, and they're really just empty shells. The sand is starting to look much better in my opinion. I still gotta get some more out, but I'm also gonna start planting a lot of these plants that I pulled from another tank. I actually pulled them from this tank and now we're gonna start putting them in here because I think that's gonna start to look really nice also when pulling out the snails I have assassin snails in here and they're these guys assassin snails eat other snails and help limit the population of the other snails so they don't get too out of control I don't want to get rid of these guys so I'm gonna make sure to put them back into the tank so they can go ahead and start eating more snails and any more that I see in here just gonna keep taking out. Let's look at the tank, guys. It's been looking so much better already. I've started planting all the other ones, got rid of some of the junk. As you guys can see in here, this nastiness. We don't wanna deal with that. This fish, yo, this fish pricked me while I was putting my hand in the tank. So I had my hand going in the back, I couldn't see. And of course the fish got spooked and I didn't know he was there. And then he spined my hand. Nothing on my hand, I'm being a big baby, aren't I? Okay, it hurt when it happened and it scared me more than anything else. And then also these like tiger barbs keep biting me. Watch, 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 watch. And they keep freaking me out because I keep thinking it's the big guy. Like when he's gonna bite me. Look, look at that one little bit me. Look. All right, it doesn't really hurt at all. They're more curious than anything, but I keep thinking it's the big one and it's gonna be like big spikes or something. Look, look, look. <laughs> So when I was putting the plants in the tank, they kept doing that and it kept scaring me. But right now the tank is looking pretty good. I'm sorry for all the noise. And we gotta get a couple more plants in here. I think this one needs to be planted. Yeah, I gotta plant this one. The tank is fully drained to where I wanted it. 
Also, all the plants are in, and I've kind of given up on getting all the snail shells out and just kind of embracing this more natural bottom of a river look. A lot of the plants will fill in over time, so we don't want to do too much. A lot of the new plants I planted in here, like the ones back there, I could cut, and I will in the future, but I want them to get settled in, and I don't want to disrupt the plants too much. That big plant root ball that was here in the front, put it in the back. Those plants are known to come back after they, you know, shed all their leaves and whatnot. So I think I started its shedding. Hopefully it'll come back in the future. These stem plants will hopefully grow in over here, but I'm really liking this like open area for the fish to eat because I typically feed them over here. So now I need to fill this tank up. Then I'll show you guys the final result of what this tank looks like with all the fish in it and we'll also feed them. I'm also going to throw away this bucket of plants and empty snail shells and we're going to take it. Nice and empty. All right guys, it's time to finally look at the tank fully filled up and what the final result is. Look at it, it's just beautiful. I really, really like it. The light in the tank is so much brighter. The sand looks so much fresher and cleaner. The fish, you can see them more clearly now. And like I said, all these plants and stuff will be trimmed eventually. Just gotta let the plants settle in and then we'll trim them back. And what I'm really going for is like tall plants here, tall plants there, all covering the back of the tank. And then in the front, we could put in some nice beautiful plants that are a lot shorter and allow the sand to be seen. Now let's go ahead and feed the fish. So I have some food over here. I think we're gonna use Viber Bites. And that way you guys can see all the fish and they'll probably be much happier for it. I did realize that the filter had been off for quite a while, like a week or two. Hopefully there's no issues. I didn't want to fully clean the filter bed. There's enough beneficial bacteria in the tank to sustain it all. And that's why there was no issues when the filter had turned off because the tank is mature enough, which is quite interesting. And you would always think that if the filter had been off for a long period of time that that would cause issues. So when the power goes out and things like that on your tanks, it's not always a dire situation. You might su be surprised. So let's go ahead and get the pellets, or the, yeah, the pellets in the tank and feed all the fish. I just love how bright the sand looks and it just makes the tank look so much, so much more alive. But look at all the fish slowly eating, getting all the food. Definitely gonna wanna add more fish to this tank. I'm uh, thinking more of like a predator centerpiece, like an Oscar fish, something different. And then the fish in here might change or stay. Haven't decided yet. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit, if you enjoyed the, Mia! If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and like down below. Also, make sure you watch this one because I know you'll like it.